Okay. We go upstairs right now. Russ and Laura are with us. Of course, through these weeks, we have been covering that story of East Palestine and the awful pictures of that tragedy down there. We're going to get a different picture here today thanks to a bunch of little leaguers. Tell us about that story. That is right, Jimmy. Of course, ever since that train derailment, which has received national headlines, of course, the kids in that community have had a really rough time. Yeah, that's right. So the Guardians made sure that those little leaguers could experience something super special. Here's Emma Henderson. Chest and arm, straight down through it. When life throws you a curveball, it's helpful to be backed up by a team. In this case, a whole bunch of East Palestine little leaguers. They got each other through the past two months following a devastating train derailment that involuntarily thrust their small town into the national spotlight. Now it's their turn to let loose and have a little fun with an invitation to opening day from the Cleveland Guardians. I don't know how many kids have ever experienced an opening day, uh, but to be able to go on the field and form a tunnel for the players to come out, the kids will, something they'll never forget. Between eating hot dogs and battling it out to see who can catch a fly ball, it's a world away from the unknown of the train derailment. You know, they were out of school for a week when the derailment happened, and they really didn't know if there was going to be a baseball season. They were concerned about that. We were concerned about some kids uh, being relocated and moved away. Now they're two weeks away from their very own opening day, something East Palestine Youth Sports Association President John Simon is gearing his team up for with lessons that go far beyond running bases. You learn a lot more than just the sport when, you, um, when you're playing. You learn how to be a great teammate. You learn how to be a leader. And while that might be true, the kids have some goals of their own. Just to slide and just have fun. <laughs> I like playing with my friends and scoring. <laughs> and Simon has a message for other teams that get the chance to play against East Palestine this year, knowing things have been rough. You know, East Palestine is doing the best that we can to be able to provide for these kids. So I'm hoping all the other communities will come here and play and not have any issues with coming to our park. In East Palestine, Emma Henderson, 3 News. Yeah, what a very nice story. And by the way, you will get to see the East Palestine Little Leaguers as part of the opening day ceremonies this afternoon. That's right, because the boys and girls are forming the player tunnel for introductions before the game. Something they'll never forget. And we are rooting for you guys, that Little League team over in East Palestine. Jim, back to you, my friend. All right, thank you very much. That is going to be a great sight. I mean, that crowd will be roaring, and the Guardians will run through that tunnel of those little leaguers. Way to go. That's going to be a great sight.